Zapena Panea Kolokoko Maile was born on March 13, 1850, in Napo'opo'o, South Kona, to Naili Puahukahi and Kabaha Noeo. Little is known about Kolokoko Maile's cultural education, but he was a graduate of the Lahaina Luna Seminary. He was an active member of Kahikolu Church and was a leader and spokesperson for churches in his area. Through the Hawaiian language newspapers, he shared his knowledge and ideas, both philosophical and practical, concerning language, ethics, and the preservation of culture. He also distributed the Kuoko'o newspaper from his home. He wrote extensively about South Kona. His accounts included etymology of land names, stories of celebrated places, and epithets of the region. For a time, Koloko Kamele reprinted canonical texts like Nokekale Aina and the story of the chief Umiani Loa in the newspapers. Between 1924 to 1926, he wrote eight serial mo'olelo in Hawaiian language newspapers, each of them signed ZPK Kawai Kaumai Kamakaoko Pua, which was a common pen name of his. He wrote of his own chiefly genealogy, but also engaged in open debates in the newspapers, correcting genealogies that were written by others. He possessed extensive knowledge about plant and animal species, creating eight taxonomies, which he published for the benefit of the people. He was also an expert riddler and was commonly known as the riddler from the Palikapuo Kiaua. Koloko Kamaile served as an informant to Henry Kekohuna and corresponded frequently with Theodore Kelsey, a proponent of the continuation of Hawaiian language and knowledge. Beyond being an avid writer, he was a farmer, a teacher, a notary, and held various church positions. He was knowledgeable in the art of kalaiva'a and bridged cultural knowledge across generations. Koloko Kamaile exemplifies a kanaka who truly knows his aina through and through. Go to Ki Papa Educated Resources to learn about Koloko Kamaile and other important kanaka who spent their lives dedicated to the preservation of Hawaiian knowledge.